Hello, sports fans and football fans. Is everybody ready for some football? Well, I hope so. And today I am going to take a look at the new Stratomatic football game, the NFL version of the football game of the 2022 season. And uh, we will get on with that right now. All right, well, what you're looking at right here is my screen for my football game. Now, we're going to take a look at the football game through the, uh, or the, we're going to take a look at the football cards, basically, through the football game. Because the layout, the look of the football game really hasn't changed very much uh, from what it was. As you can see, I've got a uh, different color scheme. I've got kind of a, like, a... Uh, uh, green and gray color scheme here and uh, if you want to uh, if you want to change that yourself you just go to league manager options and you go down here to this box right here that says skin and then you'll see a drop down menu and it has several options where you can make the colors different but uh, I, I looked at all of them and this is the one I like I don't like this the standard I like this one so that's what I'm going with but anyway we will take a quick look at these are all the teams the 2022 teams we're gonna look at every team's uh, record from last year and what their defense is rated for every team so it doesn't matter what team you're a fan of we will see what Stratomatic rated your team so first we're gonna start with the Cardinals and we will go up here to um, team and then we'll go to notebook and you can see that the cardinals were four and 13 last year they uh scored 340 points allowed 449 and their defense was rated um average against the run and poor against the pass and we go to atlanta and we go to team and we go to notebook and you can see that they were seven and ten they scored 365 points they allowed 386 it looks like to me um my eyes are terrible uh the defense against the run was poor and against the pass was very poor so not a good defense for atlanta we go to baltimore team uh notebook Hope you're taking notes out there. They were 10 and 7. They scored 350 points, allowed 315. And against the run, they were excellent. And against the pass, they were poor. We go to Buffalo and Buffalo team, notebook, and uh, they were 13 and 3. They scored 455 points, allowed 296. And against the run, they were good to excellent. And against the pass, they were average. That brings us to Carolina, and they we go to the notebook, and they were seven and ten. They scored three hundred and forty-seven points and allowed three hundred and seventy-four, and their defense was average against the run and poor against the pass. That brings us to my main man, the Chicago Bears, and we're gonna go team notebook. And they were 3 and 14. They scored 326 points, allowed 463. They were poor against the run and average against the pass. Uh, Cincinnati, we're going to the Bengals, a very good team. Uh, we're going to go to their notebook. And they were 12 and 4. Now remember, they only played 16 games because they had that game against the Bills on that fateful. I don't know if it was a Monday or a Thursday night um, where. Um, Demar Hamlin um, actually had his, he was, um, well, he had his heart stopped and had to have emergency medical care. And, uh, and that, that um, for, it didn't forfeit the game. Neither team forfeited, but the game just was never played and made up. So anyway, they were 12-4, and four and they are excellent against the run and average against the pass. That brings us to Cleveland. Cleveland would go to the notebook, and uh, they were 7-10. and 10. They scored 361 points, allowed 381. Against the run, they were poor, and against the pass, they were average. Dallas uh, will go to the notebook. 
They were 12 and 5. They scored 467 points. They allowed 342. And they were average to good against both the pass and the run. Denver, not a good team last year. Had a lot of problems. New coach, new quarterback. Didn't work out. They were 5 and 12. They scored uh, 287 points and allowed 359. But they were apparently average to good against both the pass and the run. Which brings us to the Detroit Tigers, the upstart Detroit Tigers. They were 9-8. and eight. They scored 453 points, allowed 427. And uh, they were average to poor against the run and very poor against the pass. That brings us to the pack. And the pack was 8-9. and nine. They scored 370 points. And allowed 371, which is a Pythagorean record. They were right on their Pythagorean record, basically. Uh, they, uh, they were poor against the run and average against the pass. That's bringing us to the Texans, the Houston Texans. Nope, we're not going to manage the team. I hit the wrong thing right there. We're going to their notebook and... Oh, yeah, okay. Now, see, now I'm all met, kind of messed up. Houston Team Notebook. And they were 3-13. And, 13 and uh, well, they were 3-13-1. And, and they scored 289 points, allowed 420. They were poor against the run and average to good against the pass. Which brings us to Indianapolis. We're only halfway through this, people. So, you know, grab some... Uh, Grab your favorite drink. We got a notebook on Indianapolis. They're, they were 4-12-1. And, and you'll remember Jeff Saturday took over as the coach during the season. Against the run, they were average. And against the pass, they were average to poor. That brings us to Jacksonville. An upstart team in their own right. And they were 9-8. and eight. They scored 404 points, allowed 350. They were good against the run and very poor against the pass. That brings us to the Chiefs, the uh, world champion Chiefs. And they were 14-3. and three. They scored 496 points and allowed 369. They were average to good against the run and very poor against the pass, which is weird for a team that was the world champion, but... Uh, that's what uh, Strat says. Uh, you know, I don't make the cards. Uh, the uh, Las Vegas Raiders were 6-11. and 11. They scored 395 points, allowed 418. They were poor against the run and very poor against the pass. That brings us to the Chargers. They were, let's go to the notebook. They were 10-7, and seven. they scored 391 points, and they allowed 394. So they beat the Pythagorean record, uh, which would have had them uh, with a losing record. Against the run, they were poor, and against the pass, they were average. That brings us to the Rams, and we're going to the notebook. And they were 5-12, and 12. they scored 307 points, allowed 394. And uh, you'll remember the Rams, um, my man uh, Mayfield took over as the quarterback partway through the season for them. They were uh, average against the run and average to good against the pass defensively. That brings us to the Miami Dolphins. And they were 9-8. and eight. They scored 397, allowed 399. Just a little bit ahead of the uh, Pythagorean record uh, for the real record. They're, against the run, they were good. And against the pass, very poor. The Minnesota Vikings in the Bears division, along with the Lions in Green Bay. They were 13-4, and four, but... They scored 424 and allowed 427. They should have been under 500, but if you remember how the Vikings won, the, the games that they won, they just they did a very late comeback and they would win by a point or two. Uh, so that's how this happened. They were good against the run and very poor against the pass defensively. The New England Patriots, notebook, they were... Eight and nine. They scored 364 and allowed 347. So they should have been, according to the Pythagorean record, they should have been much better. They were excellent against the run and average against the pass. 
The New Orleans Saints, or New Orleans, or however you want to, Nolans, however you want to say it. They were seven and ten. They scored three hundred and thirty points, allowed three hundred and forty-five. They were average to poor against the run and average to good against the pass. Which brings us to the Jets. Got a friend, a good friend from college, who was is a big Jets fan and would hang his big Jets blanket. On, his, on the window in our dorm room when he would sleep during the day between classes. Anyway, uh, they were 7-10. and 10. They scored 296 points, allowed 316. But now they got Aaron Rodgers, so we'll see how that helps this year. They were uh, average against the run and good against the pass defensively. That brings us to the G-Men. The Giants, and they were 9-7-1. and one. They scored 365, allowed 371. So again, uh, better than the Pythagorean record. Against the run, they were average to poor, and they were also average to poor against the pass. So I don't know how they got away with that. But anyway, we go to Philadelphia, the streets of Philadelphia. They are they were 14 and 3. They scored 477, allowed 344. They were average to good against the run and they were good against the pass. Which brings us to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we'll go to the notebook. They were 9 and 8. They scored 308. Allowed 346. So Pythagoras said they should have had a losing record, but Mike Tomlin said, no, we're not going to have a losing record. He, they were average to good against the run and average against the pass. That brings us to the San Francisco 49ers. Now you're going to like this one. They were 13 and 4. They scored 450 points, allowed 277, and they were supreme against the run. You don't see supreme a lot. Strat doesn't hand that out like candy. And they were average to poor against the pass. Bringing us to the Seattle Seahawks, who were 9-8. and eight. They scored 407. They allowed 401. They were poor against the run and average to good against the pass. Thank God I'm almost done with this. We're going to the Tampa Bay of Buccaneers. And uh, I'm almost done with the defense, but we're going to look at some player cards, too. Um, no, I didn't want to manage the team. Okay, so let's go back to Tampa Bay, and we're going to go to the notebook, and they are 8-9, and nine, they were. Scored 313, they allowed 358. They were good against the run and very poor against the pass. Bringing us to the Tennessee Titans. Notebook says they were 7-10, and 10. they scored 298 and allowed 359. But against the run, they were excellent. Against the pass, they were very poor. And that brings us to the Washington team. And they were 8-8-1. Eight, eight, and one. They scored 321, allowed 343. And they were good against the run and average to poor against the pass. And now we will get on with taking a look at some of the player cards. So the first one we're going to take a look at, and, and from a bad team, but I know you want to see his card. I mean, I wanted to see his card. We are going to go team, and we're going to go um, manage team. This time we are going to say manage team, and then we're going to look at uh, Justin Fields, the quarterback. And we are, I mean, we'll look at his passing card, but really what you want to see is his running card. So um, here is his running card. Now you can see end run wrong is hellacious. 67 yards, 31 yards, short gain, a 9-yard gain, a 5-yard gain, short gain, 28 yards, 55. And the must run, I got to say, I like the must run, plus 61 up here at 2. 39, 29, 20, and then it drops off quickly. You'll see other quarterbacks, they don't have these really high numbers like 61 and 23, but their must run will spread out a little more and they will gain some yards a little further down the column. Um, and then we'll just look at his pass really quick, but he wasn't really much of a passer. In fact, you can see here on short and long passes, he really just basically must run in the 
double long gain is at 12. So, you know, that's that. So there is Justin Fields. Uh, another guy we're going to look at, you probably want to see, and let's get out of that. We're going to go look at Kansas City, and we are going to look at the man Mahomes team. Go to manage team, and then we're going to go down here and look for Mahomes. That's Chad Henney. We don't want to look at Chad Henney. We really don't care what he looked like. And here is Mahomes, and uh, we'll double-click on him. And uh, then we will go here, and you don't really care. Well, you know what, though, but here's a good example. His run up here at 2 on must run, it's plus 20. It's not plus 61 like, uh, like Fields. But it is a little bit more spread out, and he gains yards a little further down. Um, and he does have, and really, he has a, actually, his end run is really good, too. Short gains all over the place. Um, and, uh, then we look at the pass and of course you're going to, you know, you got to understand he is going to be good at passing and he's got the double long gain here at eight. And then he's got a long gain at nine if you're wrong. And then he's got all of these right here. You know, these quarterback cards, they don't impress me as much as you would think they would. I, you would think Mahomes has the best card you'd ever seen in your life, but I mean, is this? Leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section and let me know if you've seen a better quarterback card. His short pass is really good. I gotta say his short pass is really excellent, but I'm not impressed by this long pass. Um, so anyway, that's Mahomes. Now let's look at let's go to to the Daxter, Dak, and let's look at him on Dallas because you know uh, if I did not do a Dallas guy, I would have been strung up by my thumbs. So let's see, manage team, and uh, we're going to go look quarterback. I don't know why they put the quarterbacks all the way down here somewhere. Uh, there's Cooper Rush, although it would be nice to look at Cooper Rush, but we're not going to do that. We're all right, so where did I miss him? There he is, Dak Prescott. So we'll take a look here. Um, yeah, his running, well, his must run is good. I like this must, the must run is fairly good, but you can't end run and his line buck ain't that great. Uh, but, and then here's his pass. Obviously, it's not as good as Mahomes. He has must runs. He's a big must runner. So you see the double long gain is at 11 and not 9 like it was with Mahomes. Um, the next guy we're going to look at is Justin Herbert. We're doing the quarterbacks. We're going to get the quarterbacks right out of the way. We're going to look at Justin Herbert. And um, we're going to go to manage team. And then hopefully I don't miss where he is. Let's see here. Got to find him. Um, that's Chase Daniel. We don't want Chase Daniel. Did I miss him again? No, I didn't. Justin Herbert. So there's his card. Well, there's his stats. And uh, if we look at his card, again, not much. He can't end run. He's not much on the line buck, but the must run is pretty good. And then you look at the passing card, and there's his passing card. Now, I want to let everybody know, I'm getting this out of the way here because my cards, I did order the cards for the 2022 season, and I did order the cards for the 85 season, but um, they have not come yet, so we're going to look at, at cards through the computer, which I think is, you know, just as viable as doing it, you know, with the regular cards. So you can see he's got a good short pass. The double long gain here is at four. Um, and then another long gain at three. So, uh, who else we got? We got uh, Josh Allen we're going to look at. So, Buffalo. Let's get up to Buffalo. Let's go to the uh, managed team. Let's uh, take a look. Move it down. Move it down. And uh, there's Case Keenum. We don't want to look at Case Keenum. Nobody really is caring what he looks like. There's Josh Allen. Now, nah, we're going to bring him out here. We will go look at his card. We'll, and the running card. Now, he can't end run, and he's got a ton of short gains just like uh, Mahomes did. Tons of short gains on here. 
So Strat is like, you know, he got somewhere between 11 and 20 yards, but you got to roll the dice to figure it out. And then uh, must run again. Well, it doesn't spread it out quite as well. It's more like, um, this is more like um, Fields is must run. A real high at number two, and it doesn't spread it out really quite as well. Then we've got uh, Joe Burrow. We're going to take a look at Joe Burrow. I know people are probably interested in seeing Joe Burrow, especially Cincinnati fans. So we're going to go to the team. We're going to go to uh, the managed team function. We're going to go looking for Joe Burrow. Um, and we will. There's Brandon Allen. And there's Joe Burrow. So, uh, again, can't end run. And he's, you know, line buck is eh. And then the must run is pretty good. Must run's pretty good for him. I mean, the younger guys, you're not going to see a, you're probably not going to see a bad must run on a young guy, on a young quarterback. Um, then that uh, will take us to, now we're going to move on to other positions. We're going to go to Las Vegas for this next one. We're going to go to um, manage the team, as we have been doing. And we are going to look at Josh Jacobs. Now, i got to find Josh Jacobs because I don't really remember what position he played. I think he's a running back. But, you know, I just had some names written down. I went through and I figured out who actually had good years, who led the league and stuff last year. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, there he is, Josh Jacobs. And we'll look at his running card. Um, you know, I guess we can look at the receiving card too. Uh, but here's his running card. There's his line buck, his off tackle. Uh, end run is really nice. You got a long gain at 12. You've got a 30 at 2. And you got three short gains in there. And then here's his pass receiving card. Uh, doesn't catch anything long, which is not surprising. He's a running back. Uh, here's his short. And that's really not that great either. Again, not surprising, but a lot of flat passes. That is going to bring us to uh, Derek Henry on Tennessee. I know people probably want to see Derek Henry's card, so we'll go down there. Uh, we go to team. We go to manage team. This is easier and then in a lot of ways than breaking down the cards and then having to put these cards in front of the camera. Um, so who are we looking for here? We are looking for um, Henry. Probably near the bottom. It seems like all the great guys are like at the bottom. Okay, not really. Um, there he is, Derek Henry. So we look at the card. There's the running card. Again, not surprising. It's a, it's a pretty good card. Off tackle, long gain. 48 yards, 56 yards. And then you got long gain, short gain, short gain. And then you got 29 and 24 Again, not really surprising. Derrick Henry, one of the best running backs in base or football, not baseball. And then you go look at his pass. He only catches a flat pass, but again, not really that surprising. We're going to go look at Mr. Barkley, Shaquan Barkley. I don't know how you pronounce his first name, but anyway, his last name's a lot easier to pronounce. We'll go to the managed team, and uh, let's see here. Barkley. Let's see if we can find him on the first pass through. It doesn't look like I'm going to have a lot of luck doing that. No, I did not. So we got to go back up. There he is, Saquon Barkley. And uh, there's his running card. You got the, again, the end run, the long gain, plus 27, short gain, 40 yards, 36 here on off tackle, short gain, 68 yards. Even a line buck, you got a long gain on a line buck, a short gain, a plus 33. Uh, we'll look at his pass receiving. Again, only catches uh, flat passes. 
Not real surprising again. And that's uh, going to move us, I think, to the wide receivers. We're going to go look at uh, Justin Jefferson on, um, I think that's his name, on Minnesota. So we go to Minnesota, we go to team, we go to um, no, not that managed team. Uh, Jefferson, let's see if he's up here. I'm trying to find these guys on the first run through, but I don't end up doing it. There's Cousins. Man, this guy, this team had, there he is. This team had a lot of guys, lots of uh, skilled players. Of course, they did trade for uh, the guy from the tight end from the Detroit uh, Lions partway through the season. So uh, there's his uh, running card. And uh, well, that's not surprising because he's a wide, he's a wide receiver, but the wide receiver card very good. Double long gain on long pass at seven, and then a sixty four at eight if you're wrong, and then a twenty eight and a twenty nine up there at two and three, and then double long gains here at two and three for short pass. Yeah, I think he's pretty. He even got a long gain on a flat pass. You give him a flat pass, off he goes. So that's Jefferson, and then we're going to look at Tyreek Hill on Miami. And so let's take a look at Mr. Hill. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to look at their, their team stats. We're going to go look at the team, manage the team, and Tyreek Hill, you got to figure that's a short enough name. It should stand out. Maybe it doesn't. And there it is. So we'll look at his look at his card. There again, not looking at the running, but the pass receiving, very good. He's got a long gain on flat pass, long gain at twelve on short pass, and at three, if you're wrong, and a double long gain again at six, and then another one at eight, if you're wrong, and a twenty-six, a sixty-four, a twenty-five, a twenty-eight, twenty-seven. Yeah, you want to cover Tyreek Hill. Put a couple guys on him. And then uh, we're going to Adams of Las Vegas. We could have just stayed in Las Vegas that one time. So let's go to um, manage team. And uh, who is this? Adams. See, they're not even in alphabetical order, which I don't even, they're all in some kind of crazy, messed up, you know, only we know what order we're putting them in. There we go, Devontae Adams. That's right. And um, we will go look at his card and look at his pass receiving. He's got the same. It's the same general thing as the other great receivers. Double long gain there at long pass at uh, 1 at 5 and 1 at 7. If you're wrong, 27, 28, 25, 60. Short pass is great. Uh, flat pass, again, a long gain. Uh, yeah, this is a, a little bit too many guys to have a long gain at flat pass. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Leave it in the comments. And then finally, we're going to look at A.J. Brown on Philadelphia. So let's go look at A.J. Brown on Philadelphia. And uh, we will go to the team. We'll go to the notebook. Um, no, the managed team. And... Um, Let's see here. Brown. There he is. And we'll look at his card image and we'll look at his pass receiving. And he's got two long gains on flat pass wrong. Wrong? A.J. Brown off to the races. Double long gain at short pass at three. Then he's got long gains here. These guys, this is crazy. I have never seen a receiving crew, a, a, like a set with this many receivers that are this great. Three long gains on wrong. Um, crazy. It is craziness. And um, let's even try a... Uh, <coughs> Let's give you a bonus here, um, and we'll look at Jalen Hurts while we're here. Um, 
And there's his um, running card. Uh, again, the must run, kind of more like a Justin Fields. It's not spread out all that well. Uh, you, you're going to get some, some losses and some small gains if you get past six. Um, end run, though, not bad. And he does end run, so... And not every quarterback does. And he's got a lot of must run. This is a ton of must run. This is even more than Justin Fields. So, um, yeah, and this flat pass is pretty good. So, uh, anyway, that's a lot of the cards um, and all of the team defenses. So, just to give you guys a sneak preview, we'll look if you haven't received your cards or your set yet or your game or whatever it is that you're waiting for. Um, and like I said, I'm going to show the cards for the 85 set, but it's going to be the cards. And they are coming tomorrow, so expect that maybe sometime early next week to see that. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I am signing off.